Hey church, this week we're going to be continuing on in our study of Romans chapter 12. You know, last week, Jeff talked about uh, our lives being transformed by Christ. And as a result of that, we're to, to sort of commit ourselves, we're to, to offer ourselves up as a living sacrifice to the Lord. This week we're going to talk about what that really means. You know, at the end of World War II, there was a group of German seminary students that had heard about a church in the London area that had suffered a lot of damage from the bombing. And so in an effort to sort of rebuild the Christian community there between the Germans and the English, they volunteered to go to pay their way and everything to come and to repair this church. And so they come and they're, they're working on this church and, and they're, they're really making a lot of progress, but, but they become enamored with the statue that is out in front of the church. The statue was a picture of Christ standing there with his arms extended, you know, like this. And under that was a caption that said, come unto me. The problem is that there was damage that was done to the statue. The arms were badly you know, broken to pieces and the hands were gone completely. And so as they were working on the cathedral, each of them were taking a little bit of time to go over and make these casts out of their arms with their hands and everything sort of reaching out. And they tried and they would put it on to see if any would match up with that, but none really did match carefully. And so they made this decision that they would leave the arms you know, completely full out like this, but would have no hands. And then they changed the caption at the bottom to read, Christ has no hands but ours. That's great truth. We wanna encourage you to come this Thursday and Sunday as we talk about what it means for us to be the hands and the feet and the arms of Christ. God bless you, see you then.